저는 6년 전에 미국을 처음 왔는데 그냥 어떤 직업을 가지든 나중에 다시 야나로 돌아와서 애들을 같이 도와주고 싶은데 아빠랑 그 엄마랑 다른 사람들이 야나 통해서 너무 많이 도와줘서 나도 이런 나만 이런 블레싱 혼자 갖고 있기는 뭐 하잖아요 안녕하세요 박예진이라고 합니다Hi, I'm Yejin Park. I'm a graduating senior at Eastern Christian High School. So I came to the U.S. as the first beneficiary of YANA's YSEP program. And I've been attending Eastern Christian High School for six years now, and I'll be graduating soon. I'll also be matriculating at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio this fall. I'm very excited to attend this school because of its amazing locations. It's a great city with a lot of opportunities that I have in healthcare related majors. I really want to join club activities. In high school, I was very focused on academics. I really missed out on having the opportunity to join a lot of clubs and join sports. So I came to the US when I was 12 in 2014. Um, this picture shows the first day at the airport meeting my parents and David for the first time. I wouldn't say it was emotional, I was just jet-lagged and tired. But after this meeting, we went to eat Myeongdong Haeguksu and I had an amazing Bibimguksu there. And also living in the US was nothing I expected. I was expecting more a dreamy and more like dramas that I've seen in American movies and TV shows, but it was nothing like that. Um, becoming a part of a family was more difficult and actually tiring, but lovely at the same time. Uh, because I never had like a mother figure or a father figure, I actually struggled with um, maintaining a truthful and honest relationship at the same time with my family. Um, I would just pretend that I really like the clothing that Emma bought, um, but never actually wear the clothes that she bought. So um, in order to overcome this difficulty, we had to sit down and just have an honest talk about our family and my um, joining of the family. So when I first think of the word family, um, as a 12-year-old um, coming to the U.S. for the first time, it would be very unfamiliar and uncomfortable because I never had, I don't know, the image of kajok is always distorted and just broken in 12-year-old Yejin. But after six years and being just endlessly loved by my new family, it's, it's something more meaningful and that will always be around you for your entire life. So when I was living in Dongmyeong, um, I always had this fear of what will I do when I graduate Dongmyeong? Will I have a place to go back? And what my American dad told me that told me was that I will always have a home that I can come back to and that's what family means. And that's really what Yana means. You are basically building a relationship of a family that you can, you can always go back to and return to. Uh, I want to finish studies in, in the US and actually my um, college that I'm planning to attend has great healthcare facility where I can major in biology or biomedicine or any type in medicine. But regardless of any professions I choose, I always want to come back to Yana and just help with the kids that are going through the same thing I went through as a child. I want to be the person that they can just always look up to and just always have the courage to ask me anything or just even talk to, I can be a great, great listener and therapist. So by returning back some of the loves I received from Yana, 
that is my just my community impact that I want to have in my life. So I want to tell one thing that has been really impactful and powerful to me throughout my years in, um, in the U.S. My American dad actually told me that this is a home that I can return to and despite all my failures and all my mistakes that I still have a home to return. And he also said that I can excel and excel at much higher um, and taller heights just only if I persevere. So when you get stuck and you want to quit all of your stuff, don't quit, just persevere. You can fail and you, you'll fail many, many times, but you just have to have a courage to stand up again and just keep doing what, what you have to do. And just know that there are people around you who are willing to sacrifice their time and resources to just help you recover and overcome all of your difficulty. And that is the purpose of Hyana. It's you are not alone, that you won't be alone this, in, in your difficult times. And you will still have people around you who are going to provide resources and encouragement throughout your times. So whenever you want to quit, just call Boksanim or any Yana staff who are willing to talk to you. They are around you, so use them. But it's very important to me. But it's not just a natural thing. It's just 엄마의 싫은 잔소리, 아빠의 되게 뭐라 그래야지 꼰대 같은 그런 썰맨 그런 게 되게 필요해요. 근데 이 패밀리가 진짜 와이셉을 하면서 엄마의 잔소리가 없었다? 그러면 인터뷰를 하지도 않았을 거예요. 동명에 살아오면서 저는 너무 수반사고 많았어요. 그래서 진짜 크리스마스 때도 편지 막몇 장씩 쓰고 그랬, 그랬어야 됐는데 저 때문에 다른 애들이 또못 받으니까 기회가 사라지잖아요. 야나는 이게 다른 것 같아 진짜. 패밀리 릴레이션십을 만들면 이렇게 진짜 눈에 띄는 애 말고 좀더 구석진 곡인 곳에 있는 아이들도 이렇게 볼수 있으니까 그 점이 진짜 좋은 것 같아요 야나는. 그 동명 아이들이 되게 뭐라 그래야 되지 먼저 다가가지 못해요. 이게 계속 녹여서 녹여서 녹여서. 녹여서 열리는 게 진짜 동명 애들 마음이거든요. 그래서 야나가 이 10년이 10년 지나게 할수 할수 있었던 이유가 진짜 야나 스태프 목사님 그 그런 사람들의 진짜 패션스가 엄청 많이 필요했던 거예요. 근데 그게 많이 없으니까 먼저 다가가서 먼저 먼저 오픈해 주시고 오픈해 주, 주실 때까지 기다려 줘야 되는데 그 중간 중간에 좀 싫은 소리도 해 주시고 <웃음> 어, 라이프 레슨 그런 거를 많이 주셨으면 좋겠어요. You are not alone.